<laughs> Taking a break on a warm Saturday afternoon. I was just outside, lying on the bed with my son, watching YouTube. And to be honest, it's not that different from many other days. I spend my days with my son, with my wife. We're around each other the whole day, all day. All week. Today is a Saturday, so it's a bit freer. But even on weekdays, we go together to send our son to classes. We go out for lunch, have dinner together. It's a bit hard to explain. Maybe hard to imagine, but we're just around each other. The whole day and that comes about from having time freedom we don't have to be at a certain place or a certain time to get work done in fact often when you're in the office you're not really getting work done anyway the average office worker spends about two hours of productive time in the office. According to a survey that I came across, you might even be watching this on YouTube in your office. But anyway, I digress. The point is, if you do not have to be at a certain place at a certain time to get your work done, you can get your work done anywhere, anytime. Now there's another danger of course, that is you never stop working, you just keep working all the time, everywhere. But if you ask me, that's, that's a better problem to have than the problem of having to be at the office at a certain time just because, well, just because. In the Industrial Revolution, when everyone worked in the factories on the production line, the whistle would blow and the line would start at a fixed time every morning. It would stop for tea, it would start again, I don't know, a few minutes later, 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes later. It would stop again for lunch, an hour later it would start again. Everyone has had to be at the line on time or else work just would not get done. The nature of work has changed since that time for most people who go into an office, but yet our offices are set up like factories. A certain place and a certain time where you have to be there, when in fact the work that you do, if you're watching this on the internet, most likely is not It's not work that requires you to be at a production line. It's creative work. It's thinking work. So why do you need to sit at a certain place between certain times in order to do your creative work? The ugly secret, the, the truth is you actually don't have to. But how on earth do you manage people if you don't manage their time and space. Ideally, you would manage the output, but that takes a lot more work to define what output means and then to measure it. It takes a lot more work than just to say, hey, be here at this time, until this time, and we'll pay you. What if you did not have to go into that place? Why do you go to work, actually? If you're like most people, you would claim that uh, <clears throat> you love the thing that you do. And I'm sure some people love their jobs. But it's statistical 
proven fact that most people do not love their jobs. I would hope that you are one of those rare people who really loves their job and will do it for free. But in all likelihood, you are one of those people who does not love his or her job. And if you were to come into an inheritance, suddenly you probably quit your job. You wouldn't do it if you didn't have to. So putting aside um, an inheritance, what if you could replace your income that you get from your job? What if you did not have to do the work that you're doing right now? The job that you're holding? What if you did not have to go to this job? Would you still do it? Maybe you might, maybe you might not. But the thing is, it's good to have the choice to be able to decide for yourself whether you want to go into this office to do this job or whether you want to do something else. That's what time freedom is. It is the ability to choose. <clears throat> it's not uh, the responsible thing to just quit your job and do nothing, of course. But what if you could build your own incomes, and I mean incomes, to replace your job? I work from home. I have my home businesses. It's modest. But it affords me the time freedom. Some people cannot understand how I do what I do. They cannot imagine taking the risk in their mind. But the way I look at it for most people, just between you and me, almost everyone I know who holds on to a job it's like a person that invests all of their money in one stock. Just one stock. With the hope that that stock is going to increase in value for the rest of their lives. And uh, never go down. Can you imagine anyone who had such a strategy for investing in the stock market? Just one stock. Expecting it to never devalue. To me, that is risk. So, do you want to achieve time freedom? What can you do about it? What can you do to make it so that you do not have to go to a job? You might still want to continue with your job. I don't know, maybe you really do love your job, but what can you do to give yourself the option, the choice, so that you are really truly doing it because you want to, not because you have to? <clears throat>